I should go visit the morgue. Before Hi there. Hello. Thought I'd introduce myself, since I'll be coming here a lot. I'm Agent England, Central Bureau. Oh, nice to meet you. Sure, the doctor's excited. But even his... morbid curiosity has limits, you know. After all, we mostly treat coughs and the occasional broken limb here. I get it. I'll do my best to help. Oh, by the way, I'm supposed to go to the morgue. Where's that? Down the stairs on your left. Great, thanks. I'm guessing those contain... Don't worry, Maya. You'll be put to rest soon. I know, I know. Sorry about the delay. I was needed urgently out of town. Oh, hello there. Me and this old gal have been expecting you. Talkative, is she? Oh, no doubt. The dead have a lot to say, you know. Sometimes more so than the living. Is that so? The living are fickle and prone to deceit. Once dead, we can't hide things anymore. I'm sorry you feel that way. I think most men and women out there are sincere. Oh, sure. Perhaps I came across as a bit misanthropic. Most of the time, people are just fine. Glad to hear that. Now, I'd like to ask some questions. Sure. Go Did you know Maya Strand? Not really, but I enjoyed listening to the occasional lecture of hers at the museum. She had quite an intellect, that woman. So she wasn't a patient of yours? Oh, she was, but... That's all confidential, so I can't say much about it. I understand, but anything you can share would help. Hmm, well, during the autopsy, I noticed that she was unusually worn and feeble for her age. Okay, and what does that tell us? For one thing, that she would have needed help with the more physically demanding tasks of the museum. Got it. Thanks. Did you know Carl Oscarson? No. When I heard he was murdered, I didn't even recognize his name. I had to check my records to realize that I've treated him. To be fair, I've had many patients. But he must have been cursed with one of those awfully forgettable faces. All right. Anything out of the ordinary in his medical history? Sorry. Can't go into detail. Doctor-patient confidentiality, you know? Keep it vague, then. Well, okay. Let me put it this way. I doubt you'd learn much from his file. Noted. Thanks. I'm looking for a young woman connected to the second victim, Carl. I can't help with that. I didn't know Carl on a personal level. What do you think of Gabriel? Your average policeman. What do you think of Commissary Anderson? I think he does a fine job. He's been instrumental in making sure that I can work under such good conditions. Yeah, this place is surprisingly well equipped. What do you think of Stina Ruth? The she can be quite an unpleasant woman. I can't say I've enjoyed my few interactions with her. What can you tell me about yourself, Doctor? Oh, me? I suppose I would qualify as a workaholic. So how long have you been practicing medicine? Hmm, must be 16 years now, I believe. Huh. And you're the only doctor in Nordsund? Yes. But we have good relations with the other settlements. We collaborate and pool resources when necessary. Any theories on Carl's murder? Not yet. I'll need to see the body first. What are your conclusions about Maya's murder? Most obvious first. The cause of death is acute blood loss due to the multiple stab wounds to the chest and stomach, two of which were lethal. The murder weapon is a mid-sized blade, likely a knife of some kind. There are some defense wounds on her arms, so the victim likely tried to shield herself against her assailant. I couldn't recover any biological traces of the murderer. There's no blood on her that isn't hers, or any traces of skin under her nails. This makes me suspect that the killer likely wore protective clothing and gloves. The time of death was roughly 2,300 hours last Tuesday, five days ago today. 
that's enough questions for now. Okie dokie. Oh, one last thing. I've been told that the second body is on its way here. If you come back later today, I should be able to tell you something about it. All right, I'll keep that in mind. I suppose that's where the doctor writes down his autopsy reports. This might be useful. A small, unique looking key. Various medical supplies. Looks like no patient is admitted at the moment. I don't need a, a portable. It's filled with cannulas, those little needle things used to connect an IV. I don't think I need one right now. Unused bandages, an old pre-collapse monitor. An old freight elevator of some kind. Locked. Healthy looking plant. All right, this is Mamir Road. Carl came through here recently. Replica of Prospecting, Surveying, and Defense Robot, courtesy of Nordson Museum. Replica of Multi-Purpose Cultivation Robot, courtesy of Nordson Museum. I'd say those are saffron crocuses. Not sure what those are. Lettuce, carrots, and something else. There are many entrances around here. All right, got some clay. I don't think I need to go further north right now. Carl Oscarson was Maya, the first mer I should go examine her body. Multiple stab wounds, sizes approximately the same as the other body. Maya, the first, I should go ex I don't have any business in the school. A need, a guilty pleasure, something frightening. Excuse me? Humor me. I need some inspiration for my poem. Oh, I get it. A need, a guilty pleasure, something frightening. Order. Sorting my notes. Chaos. Thank you. So, you have a poem for me now? I'll need some time. An anatomically correct gentleman. Nice soothing sounds. Nice spot there next to the wind chimes. But that looks looks like an apartment. Howdy, Pilgrim, and welcome to Walter's Bot Emporium. Hi there. I'm Special Agent Vera Anglin. Ooh, here to solve the murders, right? Uh... What? Did Pop spill some oil when he lubed my joints this morning? I told you to keep my chassis clean in case it chicks. 
<sighs> well, crying out loud, Nissa. Just let the police lady ask her questions. Oh, great. A ventriloquist act. Oh, no, she's on to us. Fine, you caught me. The man with the blue hat is just a puppet that I'm cunningly controlling with a set of strings. That's a gosh darn lie. I'm fully steam powered. You know, I'd arrest you for constructing illegal AI, but there clearly isn't any intelligence involved here. Ha! That's... that's... See, if you were any smarter, you'd have a great comeback there. Okay, Walter. It's time for you to do less talking and more listening. Sure thing, officer. Just keep in mind that all of these are just harmless automatons. I'm not here to report illicit technology. I'm just interested in the killings. All right, then shoot. Uh, I mean, ask away. Do you know about the murder of Carl Oscarson? Oh, yeah, poor Carl. He was a friendly guy. Spare parts? Like what? All sorts. Filters, tubes, nuts and bolts, various electrical gizmos. Hmm. Any idea of what the parts were for? Couldn't say, but I'm pretty sure whatever it was, it had fluid in it. Maybe a water filtering system, a pump, something like that. All those parts laying around, but do I ever get a working left arm, Pops? I could replace Mr. Limpy with a water gun if you prefer. Man, soon you'll even let the kids paint a clown face on me again. With a water gun for an arm, at least you could spray yourself clean afterwards. Heh. <laughs> so I take it you have no idea who killed Carl? None whatsoever. Wrong place, wrong time, maybe. He didn't seem like the type of guy to make enemies, anyhow. What do you know about the murder at the museum, Maya Strand? I don't know anything about the attack, but I worked with her from time to time. Ah, they got some robots in there. Yeah, I assembled them from parts I found in the junkyard. Or the bot cemetery, as I like to call it. Sometimes I feel more like an archaeologist than a mechanic. Got it. So, do you have any idea who killed Maya? Ooh, I got a theory! No, Nissa, it wasn't the big war robot in the main exhibition. Why not? That thing is huge! I know because I built it, Nissa. I don't buy it, Pops. It's got red eyes! <sighs> what I wanted to say was that Maya could be a little odd but I have no reason to believe anyone would want to kill her. Pop's calling others odd. Now that's a joke that requires no punchline. Walter, try to focus on the subject matter, please. What's your opinion on Gabriel? He's an asshole. That's what. Nissa thinks that guy is robophobic. Don't ask. Do you know anything about a woman who is seeing Carl Oscarson? Nope, I hardly even knew the guy. What's your opinion on Anderson? Seems like a reasonable man to me. Yeah, right. Hush, boy. What's your opinion on Stina Ruth? A politician? Me and those kinds of people run in quite different circles. What do you think of Dr. Pearson? Quirky guy, but he means well. Sometimes he asks me to come over and help with the kids. Oh, yeah? Help how? Usually by playing doctor and patient with Nyssa. It helps calm down the little ones. Huh. That's clever. So, what can- Me? A crazy old fart with chronic coffee breath? Oh, quiet, you little rascal. What I am is a tinker, a craftsman, a father of machines. I cherish building them. I adore putting them on display, and I especially love talking to them. I've noticed. Oh, uh, ever since I was a boy, I didn't have many friends, you see. So, I decided to befriend these machines instead. I'm off. Stay Take care. Bye-bye, police lady. What is this little guy? Clean! <laughs> he doesn't look very mean. Looks can be deceiving. What did people use the crab for? Once upon a time, this was the most popular kitchen model. Except the handling of shellfish, obviously. Guess that belongs with the head up front. 
What's up with the head? What do you mean? The robot head on the table, that is. Oh, hey, yeah, it keeps coming off. Is the big guy in the back your mascot or something? You mean Ufa? Nah, he's more of a concierge. What does that tube looking robot do? That's no robot. It's just my teapot. Not everything with lights on is a robot, you know. No need to go back in there. I don't need to go... Hey, what's happening here? A bit of an electrical problem with some fallen power lines. It's being taken care of, but it'll be a while. So I can't enter the museum? Well, you can, but only if electrocution is something you enjoy during working hours. What caused it? Did someone mess up, or was there some kind of environmental damage? Oh, we've had a windy week. An old tree fell down and ripped down a major power line. It's in a tricky spot, and due to how the grid is built up, I can't cut the power safely without affecting half the town. Sounds like a flawed design. Is that typical for electrical grids these days? Uh, not really. This power grid is quite old, constructed shortly after the collapse. That meant they had to improvise. They couldn't just clone existing power systems at the time, since those were reliant on service robots with negligible safety concerns. So yeah, now I'm paying the price. The whole thing is riddled with hacks and workarounds, each one more dangerous than the next. I see. I don't envy such a hazardous work environment. How long will it take you to fix? Hard to say, but it should be done by tomorrow morning. Understood. Can I go to the apartment upstairs, though? Well, sure. That area is unaffected by the damage. All right, good. Thanks. All right, Maya's place. Nice little garden. Looks like a hard and uncomfortable chair. Some old pre-collapse gadgets, probably for the museum. Nice collection of mushrooms. Looks like the edible kind. Some kind of airtight container. It's labeled nutrients. It's a sketch of a museum exhibition of some kind. It's titled Path of the Pilgrim. Doesn't appear to have power. I have no clue what this thing does but it looks like it could have something to do with processing samples. Nice and thick. A trophy in the shape of a robotic arm with a plaque. Winner of the 2041 Annual Nordstrom Awards, Sebastian Strand. Looks like various plant samples. I don't see how the this crude bed looks regularly used. Not sure what kind of plants those are. Maybe medicinal? A small, unique looking key. Hi, Doofus. You're registered now. Go try it out. Remember how you totally flipped the day I first came to Nordsund? Kisses. My picture of Alex. Hmm, sounds like a class is in progress. But what happens if you do it anyway? Then policemen or women will come and arrest you. Whoa, harsh. It's the law. We mustn't make things that can think for themselves. 
But my parents created me, and I can think for myself. Did they break the law? <laughs> you make a good point, Alicia, but that's quite different. Different how? I don't get why it's more dangerous to create a thinking machine than a thinking person. You think too much, Allie. No, that's good. You should always ask questions like these. I don't have any business in the school. Looks like a small wind turbine. Nice and shiny. I'd say those are saffron, a razor sharp. I don't see how those things work together. I don't think I need... More runes. Seems to be a common thing in Nordsund. Looks purely decorative. There's a bottle of molding resin here. Might be useful. I don't see how those doesn't appear to be functional. Maybe later. Nice big lemon. Small miracle to see it grow to that size under these conditions. No, I'm not tired. A thermos. I already had some today. A thermos. Low maintenance. I had a few questions. By all means. Did you know Carl Oskarsson? I wouldn't say so. He and my son were... Did you know... I wouldn't say so. He and my son were playmates as children, but they grew apart in their teens. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Me? Oh, I've been doing this job for 15 years now. I took over when the previous commissary died. I'm married with three children. Anita, my youngest, is off studying science in the city now. We're counting the days to Christmas when she comes back to visit. Did you know Maya Strand? Not at all. Museums aren't my cup of tea. What do you think of Dr. Pearson? Oh, he's a fine man. Treated my knee way back. Good as new. What do you think of Walter? He may be a little strange, that man, but he has a heart of gold. That's all I needed. Very well. I don't need to... Uh, no. I'm... Commissary? Yes. Any idea of what this opens? Nope. Not a clue. Just lots of... A small local greenhouse. Looks like a logbook. Looks like it's filled with different kinds of spare parts. Looks a bit overgrown. Looks still and serene. Old Norse runes. A local custom, perhaps? That combination makes no sense. Doesn't look like I can enter the museum. Looks like an old hovercraft. Doesn't appear to have power. Just as well. I have no clue what this thing does. Some kind of airtight container. 
that action doesn't seem That action some old pre-collapse gadgets. I don't see how those things work together. It's a bloody keys hole. She's wearing a bra. Hi, Doofus. You're registered now. Go tr This floor sure looks squeaky clean. It better. We spent all yesterday mopping it. It wipes all the doors, too. Oh, just my luck. Oh, are you fond of filth or something? No, but filth contains valuable information for a detective. Oh, I understand. Uh, let me know if I can be of service. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm Special Agent England, here to investigate the recent murders. I need to ask you a few questions. Okay, I'm Sven, the caretaker of this apartment block here. I'm looking for a young woman from around here. I have no idea who Carl was, so I'm not sure what you want from me. Well, are there any young women in this building? I'm looking at one. Ha ha. A tenant, obviously. Probably living alone. I've seen maybe three or four young women in this building lately, but I work in 16 buildings. Fair enough. Do you know which apartments they live in? Not a clue. I usually just see them pass me by when I'm working, and they practically treat me as part of the furniture, so... Do you know anything about the recent murder of a man named Carl? Nope. As far as I know, no Carl lives here. What about frequent visitors? Maybe. Haven't heard the name Carl, but then again, I don't socialize with the tenants. It might recognize... Do you know anything about the murder at the museum? Nothing but common knowledge. I haven't been in that part of town for a while. A shame what happened to Maya, though. She always seemed like a harmless lady to me. Can't imagine who'd want to kill her. Thanks. You can get back to work. Alrighty. Apartment 113. Not sure if it's the right one. It's a bloody photograph of Keys holding hands with the woman. She's wearing a brass necklace. Hey, do you recognize this young couple? Oh, right, that fella. You know him? Yeah, I remember him. Most people just ignore me, but he always says hi. Nice guy. How often would you say he was here? At least on a weekly basis, but I work in many other buildings too, so it's hard to say. Got it. What can you tell me about him? Just this one thing. He came up to me and asked about the electricity in apartment 113. He wondered if it was possible to get more power. Odd. Did he say what for? No. I told him to take it up with the residential office. There are strict quotas. He said he would bring it up with the tenant, a friend of his. Okay. Do you know anything about the tenant? Nope. Discreet, whoever it is. No idea who lives there. All right, thanks. No problem. Nothing. Locked. Some kind of code lock. Looks disconnected. 
Nope. Hey, Sven. Yeah? I need to get inside apartment 113. Can you help? Sure, you can borrow this master key. Okay. Th Thanks. You Alrighty. Huh. Still won't open. Hey, Sven. Yeah? Hey, I used the master key and some kind of electronic code lock on the side lit up. That's weird. Those pre-collapsed gizmos are supposed to be disconnected. Surprised they even work. Wait, so the occupant turned it on without telling you? I guess so, yeah. They must have some technical expertise. I don't even know how those things work myself. Can't you force it open? No way. Those things go way over my head. Thanks. You Alrighty. Here's your key back. Thanks for lending it to me. You're welcome. Happy to help. Hi, Doofus. You're registered now. Go try it out. Remember how... My picture of Al... It's a bloody photograph of... He's holding... She's wearing... The door looks reinforced. 